Hi viewers, and this is a update video for FreeCAD 0.19 and this is because one of the viewers of my channel has come forward and said that they had a problem with the video yesterday where we was looking to get, we was the, looking to get the draft move option which is in the draft here, this option here where you can move a body wherever you want wants to get that option onto the part design. Now in 0.18 that was quite easy because we went off to the tools customized. Well I say quite quite easy, it was actually um, hidden in there. And we went over to toolbars on the part design and we create a new menu on there. So you can see the new menus come up. And then you go over to the Python option in here, but in 0.19 we don't have a Python option. In 0.18 we do. So that tool is not available in here. The way around this is actually creating a little Python script with one single command in there. It's only one single command to do this. I believe this is how FreeCAD 0.18 actually does this. It actually has a Python directory in here with the move tool. And I think that that move tool has just a single script attached to it. And we can replicate that in here. So I'm gonna take you through actually how to get the tool into 0.19. Now, you will need the command for the move. So I'm gonna take you step by step. So step one, is open up the view panels and you want the Python console because you want the single command that comes up in here. Or when you see this command, you can just use that command in the next step. Jump over to the draft and just move something because we just need that command. So click on your body you want to move. Click your move tool. And down here, you've got this command. GUI run command, draft move, and there's a zero on the end of there. That's the command you want. So let's escape out of that. And there it is, even if you just click the, the move tool, that's the command you want. So just copy that, copy that command and what we now need to do is make a macro. So jump into macro, go to macros, and just create a new macro and call it something like draft move. Hit okay, and paste that macro into there. So GUI run command draft move. Just gonna go into my preferences and go into editor. Let's bring this up a bit. Okay, so that's the, the command we want to use. GUI run command draft move. Save that macro with control S or file save, whatever you want to use. So that macro is now saved. We are now going to get this onto our toolbar. So step two is go up to your tools, customize, and jump into the macros tab. So we've got to drop down this and pick our macro. So I'm going to use draft move. And type in there draft move. So tool tip is when you roll over these buttons and what appears. At the moment, nothing's appear because I think I'm in this window. The status text, if you cast your eyes down to the bottom, that's what rolls over down the bottom. So I just put draft move for all of these. You don't have to fill these in. Now there's a pix map here, so if we click that, we can go in and select our icon. And lucky enough, if we scroll down, 
we've got the draft move icon there makes it nice hit add and it's added there now we're gonna actually close down this because if we close this down then things will reset and we can go back in there and I'm just gonna close down the uh, macro so we can see this and I can jump into the part design reason why I've done that so we can actually see it come up on our toolbar when we enable it so the next step go into tools customize jump over to toolbar we're on part design click new and what you'll see is a toolbar will appear down the bottom and call this whatever we want so I'm just going to call this uh, something like drafting okay and you see we've got a blank toolbar up here now we're going to add items to that drafting so I'm just going to click on that one rather going to Python that's not there we jump into macros not macro because that's macro there we need macros so that's there there's two macro and macros and you'll see your draft move there click on it and use the right arrow and that moves it underneath there we've now got that icon there click close let's get rid of our Python console because we no longer need that we can position this wherever we want just by hovering over the little helper at the end and we can position that wherever we want so I'm just going to leave it there for the time being now if I click the body let's go back to our model click whatever body we want so body 001 click the move and now we've got our snap tools appear and we can start moving this to wherever we want and obviously we've got the snapping here that we can use so we've got the center the snap to midpoints which I'm going to use there let's take that and you can see that snapping is working nicely so we're all up and running in FreeCAD 0.19 and getting around that problem with the Python folder not being there and I'm sure the reason why that Python folder is there is basically it's full of macros that do more or less the same thing that I've done it's just a pre-built macro that's how you get around that and get that move tool onto 0.19 I hope that helps and hit me up for comments like subscribes and I'll see you soon if you like what you see, and please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash M-A-N-G zero. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.